serious moves on this. Look at that. We got water flowing in our basin, and we're making sure that there's no leak. No leak to this hole. This thing thus far. We're making sure there's no leaks underneath. Nothing so far. It's about to find a leak, and he's gonna weld it shut right now. You're gonna weld it with the water in there. That's the trick. You can never blow through. It's like the cup of water, like the paper cup, Dixie cup full of water with a lighter or a match. You'll never burn through it. Is that it? You slowed it down. I'm surprised how well the center's holding up. I'm good at welding. What can I say? <laughs> you said that's so staged. <laughs> So I'm not, what? That's why I'm not good. At what action. can I say? What, what can I say, man? <laughs> yeah, we have a leak over here, too. Look at that. Oh, that's a seam leak right there. Oh, so cool on the inside. The plasma water table that I always wanted. Five by five of pure artistry. I am working on the legs right now because while Sabat wants me to put this on the floor, I don't want it to be on the floor. I want it to be on legs and in about waist high, a little easier to access. And of course there's room for the barrel of water, the, the water storage tank underneath. So there's one piece. We'll attach that to the table and then we'll be able to stick legs inside of this thing. <laughs> Harmonies. Maybe it needs some more holes. Now that we know that our plasma table holds water, we give it a nice scrub with some like, cleaner, get all the little dirts and rust out there, and we're gonna paint it so that's sealed real nice. Because it is metal, and if we don't do that, it's just gonna rust pretty aggressively. It's already rusted quickly already, just like a flash rust on the surface. You know, when you make metal things, you gotta paint it, or it just goes bad. And the paint will probably help with tiny, tiny, tiny holes that we didn't even notice were there, so that's good too. That's what you do. I decided on the color yellow. I don't know, I think it'll go really well with the blue. I'm hoping that when we're making parts and it drops into the water basin that I'll be able to fish out the parts easily because it's in a bright yellow water basin. That's what I'm hoping. Although Sabat kind of disagrees with my color choice. You're wearing yellow right now. Yellow clothes are sometimes okay. You made this shirt, not me. Oh. Check our website for Second Stroke t-shirts. What are you doing? I mean like, that's how you paint Pete? Yeah, you just put it down, right? You just lay it out. Now we just gotta spread it around, right? What are you looking at me for? We need good content. You can't just look at me and, and laugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm not. I'm, I'm really bad under pressure, you know. This is like, how am I pressuring you? Uh, I'm, I'm your. I'm your good friend. No, I just have. I just have a rebellious complex. So when people tell me to do something, I don't. Um, well. I don't want your help. You could just do you, do whatever you want. Don't do nothing for me. I don't want you to say anything. I won't do it. Good. Now you're just doing what I want. Stop spreading that paint. I said stop. You know what? I, sh I had to stop pulling around because this is already starting to dry. Set the camera down. Don't leave. What are we doing today? Just going over here. We're going over here. Show me. <laughs> Show me what's happening. Look at this, guys. We got something on legs now. Ian the tank, which is almost there. It's sort of in play. We got legs. We have a painted top. This is awesome. Look at that. Ooh, that's gonna look nice. So, we finally got some big movements on this plasma table. I didn't film this because it was kind of boring, but we ran the electricity for the plasma cutter. This guy, it's not a three phase line, too hot, a 230 volt line. Nobody cares about this stuff. Six gauge Comment cables. Comment below if you want us to run a live video stream. Can we get internet, Pete? 
Ah, oh, we don't have internet. <laughs> I know, that would be, I would say that's a good, people are always looking for something to watch. Yeah. We, could, we could do that for you, but we don't have internet here, so that's not gonna happen. Back to the electricity, it's been wrong. We spent literally all day running the line, so now that is set, we're ready to put this table in place next to the computer, we're ready to set up the computer, and I think with confidence, we're gonna cut today with confidence. <laughs> the computer's up and running again, that's nice. And the cable guide, I would say it's a fancy conduit, caterpillar style, is getting put up now. Down here we have the plumbing in place, the big 55 gallon plastic tank, and instead of having these valves and regulators on the tank, we got them mounted directly to the frame. The tank's plastic and it's not as strong as the steel, so that grabbing and turning knobs, I think would strip out the plastic. Mounting it to the frame, I think is a lot better. Also featuring, since I know that we're always gonna have a lot of stuff laying around, we got a tabletop here, and then here is a little shelf. Surface area is always so hard to come by. I think all shops suffer from this. We are not alone. Familiar screen. All right. What, what happened? Why did why can't we make the plasma cutter work? Uh, it got broken in shipping. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Who's to blame? The person who packed the pallet. That's, that's not whose fault. That's not whose fault. I packed the pallet. It wasn't my fault. The shippers, they don't care what's on there. They just, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's nothing that we can't handle. But we do have a broken wire. And if it was any wire, like any normal wire, this would be fine. But it happens to be like the most complicated wire. It's a multiple pin. And this is the other end and it's, it's missing. It's, it's coming on Amazon. So the parts ordered. The whole build up for me was to get this plasma cutting machine cutting today, right? Didn't you think that was gonna happen? Yeah, we thought we were gonna be cutting today, but because of that, I can't even move the machine because there's like a, a fault switch that's been detected. So yeah, you can just move the table yourself. Don't fall off the end. Don't fall off that table. It's like good like a table. I love the choice in color. Right? Isn't there a Suzuki? Some su famous uh, Suzuki that was this yeah. color? It's motocross bike. Motocross. Ah, uh, so that is the wrap for this. That is the wrap for this. That is the wrap for this week. How long have you been here, Sabat? I got here on the fifth. Has it been that long? All we did was build this table? We did some other stuff. Yeah, don't, don't. And we did do those plastics. We did the seats, they're already mailed out to JP. He's doing the upholstery soon. So we are, yeah, we've started making things. We've started making things. What to look forward to? Well, now that we have this, we can actually make some parts. Other things to think about. So I'm gonna start doing a online thing. I don't know what it's called yet, but I'm doing some sort of Patreon thing where you can get in touch with me if you want me to tell you how to fix your moped. I mean, I don't know what else, why, why else we wanna talk to me. And none of that's set up yet, but I'm gonna set that up. I can teach you how to fix bikes via online chat. This is the end. This is P and Sabat saying, don't forget about mopeds. We will see you next week.